Good day, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for June 5th to the 11th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speed. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Oh, the Joker. Nice. Uh, seven of Spades. Ace of Hearts. And the Three of Diamonds. Alright, so throughout the month, you need to um, maintain your business, whatever that may be. Uh, you may be in business for yourself, or it might just be a project you're working on, or it can actually be work and you just need to maintain it at this point in time. Uh, don't get squirrel syndrome, don't get distracted by shiny objects and stuff and lose your uh, attention on your business. You need to keep up on your business, maintain your business, and you need to appreciate all the rewards that come through with it throughout the whole week. Uh, and this can be a project, this can be something that you're just working on to do for yourself in life, and sometimes we get squirrel syndrome and we lose track of what we're supposed to be doing you know to make life better for ourselves and uh this card just says maintain it you know keep your keep your eye on the prize you know uh and appreciate 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 every step that you make towards this project towards this work uh at the beginning of the week it looks like there is a pos pos positive risk that you can take and the cards say that you need to take it Back here, back here is the weight on the on the back of his bike, and that's your past. That's your past weighing you down. Uh, most likely, you have finished with your past. You have done everything that you can with your past, and the sun is saying, "Go forward. Quit looking back. Go forward where the sun is shining, and go forward on this project, this work, this plan, whatever it is. It can be love. It can be somebody that you're loving. And most likely, you might be traveling away. You might be moving away. And this this travel, this positive risk, it's going to bring you joy like an innocent child. You're going to be innocent in this. And you should be innocent in it. You should be enjoying it and loving whatever this is because this is something new and positive for you in life. But your past might be trying to hold you back. Well, let go of the past, move forward. And the only other thing to do, plan and prepare. But I think you will be planning and preparing. I think that's what the maintaining business part is. I think that is you planning and preparing and paying attention and appreciating all the steps that you're going to take to head towards this new life, uh, this new thing that you're looking towards, you know, that you're heading towards, that the sun is pointing you towards. Um, in the middle of the week, you need to... Uh, there's a there's a thief, liar, a cheat in your presence, and this very well could be somebody from your past, and you need to take away their power. You need to disarm them in whatever way you need to, and you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention because most likely you're not seeing that this person is trying to thief from you or lie to you or cheat on you. And this can very well be your past that you're looking upon that's trying to stop you from going forward. And a very indicated by him actually looking back at the card. Uh, when you do find out who this is, you might not want to be honest with yourself about this. This might be somebody that you really love and really care about. And now you've found out that they've been a thief, liar, or cheat. But you need to be honest with yourself about this person and not let them derail you from this. From your business, from your project, your work. You need to, you know, not get squirrel syndrome because this happens. And then you need to disarm them, get rid of them out of your life because they are going to do nothing but hold you back. At the end of the week, uh, true love, uh, either in a partner, family, or friend. Uh, this can be somebody new, 
This can be uh, somebody that you're with, or this can be somebody from your past that's coming back. Uh, but whoever it is, or whatever it is, it's a new true love. Even if this can even be with your partner at this time, if you have a partner. Uh, this could be a new rekindling of love with this person. And uh, the cards say that whatever it is, uh, partner, family, friend, uh, it's all sunshine and fucking rainbows, baby. Uh, it's all 110%. Go for it. Go for it. It's all good. And this could very well be part of your plan, part of your project, part of what you're supposed to be going towards. Possibly might be this true love. This might be where you're heading to. And this liar, cheater, thief might be trying to stop that. So uh, there you go. I hope this resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.